Okay, so in the final section we're going to install the dynamic workload console and the installation files are kept in the Windows file and there's a setup file here select English for me Uh, click the next, accept the license, it's found the uh, installation uh, files, so I've selected next on that. I'm going to retrieve the uh, TWS user. just waiting a second okay typing in the password just check I've got my okay click next going to select the um, default ports just tells you where what things are going to be installed and where and uh, away we go so I'll uh, hopefully this will um, run without any issues and I'll uh, meet you back here towards the end
Okay, so we've come back now and we've uh, done a successful installation of the Dynamic Workload Console. And these are uh, two links that it gives you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these and paste them. Okay, just so that we know where we're going. And uh, now I've got the links, what I'm going to do is test out the uh, installation and I'm going to put this into a separate video and so that um, it's not too long so this is this was roughly an installation of the, of the um, dynamic workload console and it took about 20 minutes so meet me in part 4 here and we'll start to test the installation and do some post installation configuration thank you